for the past 15 years, retail supermarket uh, Nigeria Limited will be subsidiary of ShopRite International Limited. They only operate for inside Obodo, Nigeria. And for August 3, and they can't disclose plans to sell all of their majority stake for the supermarket chain. One move will not be subject of controversy with everybody they talk about up and down. And our talk talk person, Aneta Felix Shisamayan, with the chairman of the Nigerian South African Chamber of Commerce, to take clarify the matter. When ShopRite Holdings Limited announced that they were discontinuing operations in Nigeria, it was widely interpreted as a bad news for the Nigerian economy. Many Nigerians took to social networking app Twitter to express their grievance over the Nigerian business climate, faulting it as reason why ShopRite plans to sell their stake in the retail giant. But economic analyst Folusha Phillips sheds lights on the benefits of the move for Nigeria. ShopRite is not locking up at all. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I, I dare say that you might find that there might be even, even increasing level of business activity as a result of it. Because now uh, a new ShopRite, if I want to put it that way, is not burdened with the challenge of trying to uh, earn revenues in Nigeria, look for foreign exchange to remit its benefits and things of that nature. This is revenue that's going to be earned within the country, can be reinvested in the country in different other ventures or within the venture itself and continue to grow. Since they opened their first store in Lagos in 2005, ShopRite has employed about 2,000 Nigerians at their 25 stores across the country. And Nigerians fear that many would lose their jobs. Philip Harver clarifies that the new development would mean that revenue earned from the business is retained in Nigeria. Whichever company or whichever organizations or people manage to buy off whatever it is that ShopRite wants to sell, uh, it's a great way of retaining and ensuring that any further revenue streams can be retained in the country as opposed to being shipped out of the country. Shoppers here at ShopRite Lecky agree with Philip while urging the new Nigerian buyers to deliver a better service to customers. It's a welcome idea, it's a good development, but I just hope the Nigerians that are going to buy it, they will do it better than the ones that are currently. Because if they still maintain the workforce, rather than buying it and come and lay off the work, they should still go to labor, it, that will be fine. ShopRite says they're in talks with potential investors to buy their shares for at least 25 billion naira. But business insiders have hinted that the preferred buyer for ShopRite is 60-year-old Tayo Amoso, a Nigerian billionaire and investor. So it's just a matter of time before the ownership of this mega retail store is moved from the hands of South Africans to Nigerians. Aneta Felix, Plus TV Africa.